everyone, I'm Kelly D and today we will be looking at cooking techniques. I'll be sharing with you five basic ways that you can cut a potato. Now cooking techniques are so important. They help you to cook your food safely, quickly and it often impacts on the taste. So let's get started. Our first technique is sliced. Now you create a base for the potato by cutting off one side so the potato stays firmly on your cutting board. Always remember, tuck your fingers behind the knife as you slice to protect your fingers. We don't want knuckles and fingers and nails in your food now. Keep your fingers tucked behind and slice evenly. Sliced potatoes are perfect for baked potatoes or potato chips. Now, we'll go on to our second method. Now, this method is very popular. We would have already sliced our potatoes, so we're going to stack them on top of each other as evenly as possible. Once we have that done, we're going to hold them firmly, so because they are individual slices, they can get away from you. So we're going to stack them, and then we're going to tuck our fingers again behind the knife as we slice evenly. We're going to be making the ever popular French fries. Once our potatoes are cut the same size, they cook for the same time. Next, we're going to look at rough chops. As the name suggests, this is when you roughly chop the potato or any type of vegetable that you're using. And this method is used mostly when we are pureeing. The size of the chops doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be evenly sliced, evenly chopped, because we're going to puree the vegetable at this point. So just once it's chopped roughly to fit into a blender, that is perfect. Small chops are used for soups or stews. We take particular care when chopping these. We don't want them to be too big because we won't be making a potato dish. We're just using them to add an extra layer of flavor or to help thicken whatever the particular dish that we're using them for. So when it comes to making soups or stews, we use small chops when it comes to a potato or any type of vegetable to enhance the dish. Our final technique is wedges. We're going to take the potato and we're going to cut it in half. We're going to put each half flat side down on the cutting board. Then we're going to cut it in half again. So now we have four wedges of potato. We'll continue to cut by cutting each wedge diagonally down the sides. So now we have eight wedges of potato. Each potato should give you at least eight evenly sliced wedge of potato and as they are nice and big we always use a chef's knife to cut our wedges which is about 9 to 15 inches for the blade so now we have wedged potatoes we have rough chopped potatoes for purees we have small chopped potatoes for stews we have french fries now you know some basic knife skills when it comes to not only cutting a potato any type of vegetable or some meats, head into the kitchen and create some delicious dishes. <laughs>